I can't believe you just said the word denuded. Yes. Yes. Okay. I had a whole meltdown over this word like a week and a half ago because I was thinking about it. My mom used to use it and I looked it up and yeah, it means, you know, to get naked or to, re- you know, Remove. make it right. Mm-hmm. Then, okay. Break it down. Here, here's the word geek, right? If you're nuded, that means you're nude. But if you're denuded, you're unnuded. So does, why doesn't that mean clothed? Is that like flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? Yeah, there are just certain words in the English language that are pain in the ass. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, yeah. No, I was talking about. I only, I'll probably be taking it down this weekend. I put up a tree this year. My one cat's been. Uh, they were. There was like decorative berries. Yep. The damn cat just jumps in the tree and is yanking off these berries, and so I, I was snipping off the branches and I was rearranging things and lifting up the rug, and that's where I found all the damn berries. That's oh, where so you hit them. Yeah. <laughs> little shit. So I usually have it down before the first of the year. So that's probably going to be on, you know, be doing that in a day so or two. you did one this year? Did one tree, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I keep rearranging the living room, yeah. thinking that it's, you know, going to keep the damn cat out of the tree. It hasn't fallen down yet because I've got 16 pounds of weights on oh, the stand. Oh, yep. that's yeah. But the little shit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, good cats. Good kitty. Mm-hmm. So it is a beautiful, cold, northern day. Yep. Like it's, we needed this a little sunshine, mm-hmm. don't you? Oh, definitely. Oh my mm-hmm. God. Yeah. So, you know, as I, I suppose this is a good thing, but naked, stupid activity is a little, a little quiet right now, but there's other stuff going on. Well, it, it, a pickup the, you know, the, the week, the last week of the year and yeah. part of January, yeah. people buy a lot of stuff from us. So mm-hmm. I think they're willing to get naked. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so who knows, you know, maybe, maybe there'll be naked, stupid stuff in Minnesota and not Florida. For sure. Mm -hmm. Um, so that makes me think of, since it's, we're just so close to still Christmas, um, there is a very, very, um, I, I think it's freaking hysterical. Um, but this poor mom and more, uh, pointedly the poor, like five-year-old kid. So kid is in the nativity play. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she goes on Amazon to get him his shepherd's costume. And she was so excited because it came with this little blow up sheep. And he went to school and he's like, look, and I even have a sheep and they blew it up. And the teacher calls the mom and she's like, Houston, we have a problem. Did they send it with love you? Mm-hmm. We used to sell inflatable sheep. You it was did? a big, it was a big thing years ago. It was a really? big novelty, but people really are called a love you. It was called a love you. <laughs> yeah. They came in either white or black. Uh, we sold, they, I don't know. They were sort of small, but you know, that's when people had the extra money to spend on something that you would laugh at and then just chuck. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And now it's like, okay, it's funny, but you know, the, you know, prices go up and it just, you get, you hit a level where it's just not, it's not that funny. You just said that so nonchalant. Mm-hmm. Oh, there was a love you in there. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, there was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And school officials were brought in and the mother's like, I don't know whether I should laugh my ass off or cry. And the kid is all bummed. Cause it's like, where's my sheep? Mm-hmm. You know, I want to play with it. And she's like, no. And it's like, just go buy a fucking little stuffed sheep. Mm-hmm. And give it to the kid. Right. Yeah. I think, uh, I, I think probably a stuffed sheep would have been a, a better deal. Probably more expensive then. Yeah, but after after the scandal, oh. he doesn't understand where the original sheep is. You got to bring in a ringer because <laughs> the damage has been done. He didn't say that the sheep went to a went to a farm in the country. Is that what people say when things he was disappear? Retired. He was retired. <laughs> this particular sheep, the kid doesn't need to know, is a retired sex worker, but it's retired yeah. nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting story. Um, this was. Um, a guy got arrested in New York on suspicion of public lewdness and harassment after a fellow subway passenger turned on the video on the phone um, saying he was touching himself. Okay. So Friday there was a trial in court and he argued that he had no recollection of the, in, in, of the incident. He hired an attorney um, who said, um, listen, this guy is just has a big schlong and he was adjusting himself. There was no exposure. Um, and, but this woman, this 32 year old who shot the video 
you know, said, oh, no, he was pleasuring himself and says into the camera, disrespect, nasty, pervert. Mm -hmm. And um, she said he was rubbing and grabbing his crotch area. The defense attorney said, actually, this woman probably just saw the big, you know, package and was enamored of it or whatever. (laughs) He got (laughs) off. Bad timing for the Mm -hmm. use of the phrase. Mm -hmm. But he was cleared. Um, And quite honestly... I mean, there's video, and honestly, it doesn't take that long to adjust. I worked with enough guys that wore dance belts and tights, and mm-hmm. occasionally they would call circle up, which means something got un, you know unadjusted, and there needed to be adjusting. Yeah, it took seconds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you're sitting, you probably don't have a lot of room. You're not standing. I don't know. But uh, I just think that stuff is hard to prove, and at a certain point, but there's but but video. I I just let yeah oh. video. Anyway, then again, it's it's the, the the internet's forever, so that name and everything is just going to be out there forever. Disrespect. I mean, hell, Peach Bellini perfect. lady's making another uh, making a uh, who is Peach Bellini lady, the one about the candle oh. that's making the rounds of uh, of uh, of my social media again, which is uh, hilarious. I'm like, this is what, two years old now? I mean, things are just going to, you know, it's going to pop up all the time. Yep. Oh, God. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Dolly Parton, do you have any sort of a stand on her one way or another? My, the thing I've read is that she actually entered a Dolly Parton drag contest one and didn't win. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. That's harsh. Yeah, Google it. It's fun. She did. Yeah. That's really harsh. Mm Mm-hmm. I love her. Mm-hmm. I think that she is just funny, and I've you've never just I've never seen any crap about her out no, there. No, all married, she does is good. Yeah, and she mm-hmm. she gives back, and she's been married to the same guy. And I read an article recently where she said the secret to a great marriage is being gone a lot, which <laughs> made me laugh. <laughs> Um, but apparently, hell, I live. I don't even. I don't live with my guy. I mean, I understand this. You have your space, and I have my space, and life is good. Yeah, well, that's how you guys kind of mm-hmm. handle yeah. your relationship. Apparently, um, Dolly Parton is going to be working with Jennifer Aniston on an upcoming uh, film based on a book of the same name called Dumplin. And um, Dolly was doing, you know, probably the junket rounds. It's it's out. The movie? Yeah. Oh, I it's, haven't watched it's, it yet. It's a, it's a it's a Netflix thing. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, I, I, mm-hmm. you, seen, you haven't seen it, have you? I've not seen it. I, it keeps popping up, and I do want to see it, but I'm like, but honestly, lately, the holidays, I have the attention span of a gnat. Uh huh. And That's I'm just, yeah, day, yeah. And I was going through there. So, um, I'm, I'm just sticking to like short things. But yeah. that's supposed to be pretty good. I'm going to check it mm-hmm. out in the winter doldrums. But um, basically, long story short, one of her little uh, Tonight Show clips has Dolly mentioning that her husband is just crazy for Jennifer Aniston, who's quite the cutie patootie. Mm-hmm. And she says, I think he kind of fantasizes like a threesome. And I'm um, just <laughs> telling this to Jimmy Fallon. Oh, I'm sure that, that I'm sure they had fun with that. Because I'll have to look up the clip because I don't watch. I'm, I don't either. Late night TV anymore. I just go back and watch the um the the fun clips it's yeah. the best way to watch oh for mm-hmm. sure for sure well jennifer aniston said at first her mouth just dropped and then she laughed her ass off mm-hmm. so that's very cute <laughs> i'm really jealous of the heels i can't wear heels anymore yeah dolly's short and she always has the most awesome heels oh well she is so hilarious she basically says i saw an interview with her she was walking people through dollywood and talking about charity and then something came up about the makeup and she's like yeah you know i'm a drag queen <laughs> and she's fine with it. She totally owns it. Yep. Um, so we have an expansion and a contraction sort of contrast in the next two stories mm. coming up here. Um, the first one, plus size tights. Fine. You know, everybody wants to wear tights. Mm-hmm. Um, but the problem is um, it's a company called Wish. And um, they they put tiny, skinny models in plus size tights. Okay, so it's one thing to do that because a lot of companies have been guilty of that. Oh, I mean, Liz goes insane because there'll be companies that sell plus size stuff, but they still have a tiny model on the box. A lot of this is packaged lingerie, and it just won't sell. I mean, people need to have some idea of what it looks like on someone that is not a size, you know, six. Yes. It just, you know, or you're going through there, or I was going to try, I mean, I'm plus size when it comes to that sort of stuff. I was, you know, going through Cub before the holidays, 
and they had these holiday leggings that were obnoxious prints. And I looked at the XL, and it said 12 to 18, right? You know, and I'm on the high end of that. But I put my hands in it, and I realized if you stretch this out, I might as well be, you know, <laughs> there would be no design left, and there would be fleshy bits showing. I mean, they just became too thin, this is not how you want them. No. But, yeah, but, the, of course, the, the, the model on everything was the same one, and she was about, you know, the, the tiniest little thing. Of course, they look cute on her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This was not just the models wearing clothes. Oh, okay. They were pulling them up over their heads to show how big they were. <laughs> Twitter storm. <laughs> Twitter storm. So, yeah. Yeah, they're just- yeah, they get the one hell of a camel toe doing that. Well, I know, how? but like, really, that how is that not insulting? Yeah, no, you just want to go. Oh no, 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 no! No, you got to um, have you got to have someone at least as a size fourteen, sixteen to try this stuff on. Because I love the fact that plus size is considered like twelve now. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, do you use nonstick pans? Um, so, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Eggs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, PFCs, which are in there. Oh, yeah. um, There's an entire apparently generation of males who have smaller penises, (laughs) poorer quality (laughs) sperm, and uh, reduced testicular volume as a result. Reduced? There's there's a sentence for you. You like that? Yeah. So basically, so um, in other words, if you cook soy products in your PFC, you might uh, pans, you might have uh, uh, lower, uh, smaller balls, smaller balls. And um, so if you fry your tofu, even though you're trying to be a vegan, you're still like hurting your crank. Mm hmm. Bad. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these things mimic estrogen, and I think that's why they're going through there is what, is what they're finding. But then again, I'm sure they'll find something else later on going on. Well, mm-hmm. I did not realize this. PFCs are also used in water repellent coatings for clothes and carpet, and also the grease-proof layers on some fast food wrappers. So when you think about it, mm-hmm. that's a lot of exposure. That's a lot of over and over and stuff yeah, like that. that's a lot. Yeah. I mean, also, it also depends on how high you, you crank up the heat on these pants. Uh, you don't really want to, you know, you're not, you're not roasting, you know, and, and stuff like that. But I, I, I have my grandmother's cast iron pan. It's got to be 100 years old now. It took me about a month to clean it a couple, uh, this past summer. Yeah. Because it was, you know, after a while, a quarter inch of seasoning starts flaking off into your food, and you don't want that. No, that's a process. Yeah. yeah. So I had, I, oh, it was, but it was worth it. It was worth it because now I'm using that. I, it sits on the stove. I use it all the time. Yeah. And I just love that cast iron pan. And quite honestly, I have a set of those. I need to I need to actually get a little more dedicated about using those. Mm-hmm. This one, this next story, I can't wait to see what you're gonna say. <laughs> I know what I think. I'm not going I'm not going to state my opinion. I'm just mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. So this happened over in the UK and um long story short, this is a guy who's kind of like a public representative of some sort. So he's a municipal employee, works mm-hmm. for the government, okay? And he is now facing an investigation for forwarding the, an image of a topless woman to a group of mothers that were meeting to address knife crime. Now, it sounds egregious on the surface, but what happened was um, he was trying to send, um, he said he clicked on the wrong image. He was trying to attach a video that he'd taken of the group's founder because he really respects this group. He wants to help their efforts. And he sent the wrong image. And it was a topless thing. And they, they have page three girls there. They, they, they have boobs running around. It's, it's Great Britain. <laughs> well, it's. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, one woman, this is a very serious matter. Another one says, it says a lot when women in this area are crying out for support, and he posts this. <laughs> and he said, it was an honest mistake. My God, can there ever not just be a mistake? Like, <laughs> and I'm guessing based on just this article that the rest of his career and behavior mm-hmm. would tell you one way or another. another yeah. Uh, this is a way for some folks to get their little, their, I don't know, what, their 15 minutes pearl of fame. Pearl clutching. Yeah, there's always pearl clutching by water, too. <laughs> oh, my, the children. Which is fascinating, because you can find boobs on British TV. They say fuck on TV over there. <laughs> they do. Oh, no. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, this is, um, this next one's actually pretty disturbing. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, naked pussy attack. It sounds like it's like it's independent and we of may its have, own accord. I, I bet. You, yeah. Well, there's probably a movie named that too. I'm I'll thinking look it up. a Pac-Man, like a Pac-Man mm. thing, only three dimensional and horrid. Okay, actually, no, but this is actually a domestic abuse story, and this is a chick in Missouri, 43 year old Amy Perino did get arrested for uh, domestic assault and sexual abuse after um, she attacked basically a man. I'm not going to call him his boyfriend, her boyfriend, Mm -hmm. but um, she wanted moral sex. When he did not feel like it, she got very violent, chased him, um, and he was begging to be left alone. She pushed him to the ground, sat on his face, ordered him repeatedly to eat her pussy as he struggled to breathe. (laughs) And then um, he was scared to death. He suffered a four inch cut on his right eye. She punched him. I mean, it was just terrible. Oh, I certainly hope she has to register as a sex offender for the the rest of her life. She's in jail um, in lieu of 25K bail over the whole attack. But that is was drunk or stoned or was just just or just stupid. It doesn't matter, but she. Yeah, I, mean, just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's actually, to be there. but she struck him with a you know object. She punched him, and you know, oh. good God, that's um, that? I don't know. You know, I mean, everybody can say, "Oh, don't hold my head when I give you a blowjob," or mm. "Don't you know whatever," but like wrapping your pussy around somebody's face could suffocate them. <laughs> Yeah, this is, um, no, this person has severe issues and definitely needs to be away from people for a long, long time. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. That's yeah, you not know, good. yeah. General, and the thing is, if, if you, what's nice, though, is that it's obviously being taken seriously. Mm. Because I would assume even 20 years ago, 10 years ago, um, they just would have said, you know, you did you women as sexual offenders just wasn't something that, you know, you really took yeah. seriously. Yeah. And it needs to be. We were mm-hmm. still in that uh, sort of thing where men, women couldn't rape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people had to like broaden, you know, the definition of mm-hmm. what, that, what that meant. We kind of talked about this the other day, but here it is in official news, Tumblr banning porn. And mm-hmm. all nudity, with the exception of breastfeeding images. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we are our, our uh, this podcast goes out on Tumblr. People can listen, so I don't think they'll be able because it, they're just talking about images at this point. But I'll be curious to see whether or not they ban, you know, you know, adult words. Yeah, it's going through there. Yeah. It makes it honestly. I mean, I understand why there's this the federal rule that says that. Uh, the person who has the platform is responsible for what people post on it. Yeah, and so they found some images, and they and, and they just don't. They, it's hard to keep up with. Yeah, it's going through there. So I I do actually have a problem with that law because it makes actually the world less safe for sex workers and information stuff like that. If they don't have a place that they can communicate, and but it's just it's so hard. I mean, even uh, it, it's so hard for people to understand. That there needs to be a, a, a it just because when you say you don't, this law is bad. They're like, ah, oh, then you're on the side of rapist or something. No, 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 no. Yeah. Nobody knows how to, you know, how to separate these things. Well, one and, of the concerns is um, a lot of sex workers use that site for publicity, and now they're trying to figure out how they're going to replace the ability, you know, to promote themselves Mm -hmm. that they had yeah yeah and like i said and then they can also say hey keep away from this person there's a lot of communication that happens on these sites um that and and they'll they'll, let me find another one and they'll have to change the rules but what i find fascinating is that if you can shut down sites that visually have sex in them and you can have some sort of algorithm something that figures that out why is it so easy? Uh, why is it supposedly so hard to shut down sites that, how oh, I don't know, have Nazis on them? Yeah. <laughs> you, or a you, lot of violence. Or yeah. violence, stuff like that. I mean, they're saying it's going through there. Or they're saying it's difficult or gets through or this or that. These are privately owned companies. This is not the government. Yeah. They can show or not show or have on there what they want or don't want. It's a good question. It's going through there. And so what I hear that they can immediately ban, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, sexually explicit sites. 
why can't they shut down the racism sites or the or or that sort of stuff as fast? Yeah, and so it sort of you know leads me to believe that they're just not. You know, they're, they're, they're more scared of people being freaked out by sex still in this country than they are by, you know, by racism and by violence. It pisses me off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Threats. You know, that just makes me think. I just um, I saw a news story about Taylor Swift um, using facial recognition at a recent concert. Apparently, she's got a lot of stalkers. And there was one that was just very recently convicted of breaking into her home and getting into her bed, not with her, but sleeping Mm -hmm. in her bed or whatever. That's terrifying stuff right there. Here's the thing. And she should absolutely, you know, take whatever steps she needs to. They didn't disclose, though, that they were using that software. So you came in and you're looking at these screens that are showing practice and performance videos mm-hmm. but no disclosure that your face facial data that, that, they're, that they're using it for and, that yeah well i think it's yeah i mean i can yeah they, they, they usually laws don't have to catch up to technology it's the same thing as saying you're you know you're being recorded you're doing different things and stuff like that i don't i mean i assume if i'm out in public that i'm being photographed Yes, going through there. And this is a little bit more and stuff like that. But then um, everyone's, you know, using it. There's not really, you know, but I mean, this goes over that line. You know, they're using it. I mean, you can, I mean, right on the ticket, it says that your image can be used for like, um, uh, like an advertising purpose or they could be, you know, a crowd a, a crowd shot or something like that. But it does, you know, but it also needs to say for security purposes, we might, you know, your your images yeah. will, will, will be scanned. I mean, it's easy enough to put on there. And then, I mean, it's it, it, it's going to be the same thing. It's not going to keep anyone from the uh, uh, from her concert. Just like, it, I mean, hell, when was the last time I downloaded an app? I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. I mean, and I know <laughs> I'm yeah. giving away I'm, uh, that I'm giving away stuff, you know, like the location stuff. I mean, I've got most of it turned off on my phone, but a lot of people don't even know. Yeah. That, I mean... Anyone could look at my phone. You can identify folks from certain apps that you have. Yeah. I mean, I use, I use Waze. I use a bunch of different things, but they needs to know where you are, which means, I mean, it's fairly obvious that someone that is in this area and travels to and from, you know, who, who, I mean, you can identify people from information that's on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I mean, honestly, I don't understand how people are even remotely surprised by some of this shit, but that that's okay. I also happen to do a crap ton more reading than other folks. So that's yeah, probably it. Well, my freak out over that was that, okay, what do they do with the data? Do they sell the data? Oh, yeah. Do they, oh, yeah, see, mm-hmm. see I don't know, I'm not okay with yeah, that. Yeah, because there's all this third party, blah, 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 and I'm like, Mm. That's why I don't do any of those damn quizzes on like Facebook because that I mean that that's I I don't need to be coughing up uh, my you know my friends access to you know their advertising or you know different phone you know some of the phone numbers they you know folks would get uh, before they shut some of that down if you had your phone number on there you were giving away. so people were getting like text because you played a quiz yeah yeah and I'm like I mean you know you're the product. On yeah. all this social media. I mean, I get that. Yeah. But, you know, let me opt in to third party. Face, you know, someone sells, you know, add to Facebook, fine. I've signed up for that. But I did not sign up for me to give it to another company. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, just on that sort but of But I note, guess I did. You know, if that makes it, you know. Mm-hmm. No, I get you. Yeah. Uh, the thing that I'm glad not to have anymore, have you noticed that the, like, I block them, but, but I think that. The game requests. Oh yeah, I mean, I, thank I, God that went away. I, I think people still do it, but I mean, I, I, what I've been on Facebook for ten years now. I have hundreds, possibly thousands, of websites, people, apps, uh, advertisers blocked. I mean, I just it's 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 almost. Um, I almost don't know I'm blocking as I'm going through. I'll see an ad, click, you know, block this, block this. I mean, it's just it takes. Set. I mean, I'm so good at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just part of my scrolling through, just block, block, block. Mm-hmm. Just going through there. I mean, I, I find, I think I mentioned this before, like, let's say I, I do decide or I see something that's interesting in a story from a company that I do like, and yeah. it will say 
seven people have comment, commented on this. And then I'll go and look and I'll only see like three comments that says that I've already blocked four trolls like over the years because these oh. are people that just like to comment on shit to be assholes. Oh. I'm pretty sure I've already blocked them because I don't see all, I rarely see the number of comments, especially, I mean, obviously when there's 500 comments, I don't notice that. But when it's right at the beginning mm-hmm. of something, I'm like, I've already blocked these assholes. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, I guess... And it's easy. I mean, honestly, it's so easy to do. I need, mm-hmm. I need some lessons. Mm-hmm. Something you said about, um, about I don't know, I can't remember. All right, I'll come back to it. <laughs> Shoot. It was on this, it was, it was on this whole thing, though, about some blocking. Oh, heck. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually quite surprised to some extent. I mean, I'm, I've got a um, face... I mean, I, uh, I mean, I self-censor on all of our... Um, the zillion Facebook sites we have and Yelp and Google and Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that because I know... That all these things say, oh, you know, trigger, you know, could be, you know, there's, there's no boobs and stuff like we had to stop doing man meat because, you know, a few of them got, you know, you never saw anything. It mm. was implied. People, yeah. Let's go through there. I, mm-hmm. I, you know, I actually have higher priority items to, to deal with than mm-hmm. being pissed about cheesecake pictures. <laughs> I just do. How about you? Yeah. Uh, I just, know. oh. It's frustrating to go through there, but it also saves me a fortune because I can't advertise. Okay. That mm-hmm. sounds good. So uh, I figure that works out okay. I might, I might be tempted to hit that promote button if I could. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we haven't talked about this in a long time. Um, bad, we've talked about bad kissing. we talked about bad sex, whatever. There's another bad sex breakup kind of <laughs> that made a new, you know, the news. And, you know, here's the thing, you know, good looks, quirky sense of humor and a lot of charm, according to this woman. Mm-hmm. But she goes into telling um, the story about how um, everything was going great, going on dates, having fun, you know, a little bit of canoodling and all that kind of stuff. Really good kisser. But once they got to bed, everything completely went downhill. And um, she gave it three tries before she gave up. See, they, okay, that that that's good. I mean, you know, the f- first couple of times, you know, you're still figuring each other out. Okay. But if you can't figure it out after three times. <laughs> the, no, and it, and it wasn't a figure out thing. Because here's, oh, here's oh, the thing. He did weird shit that she absolutely didn't like. Like, right away. Like, he'd, he'd like, fondle her ears, mm-hmm. suck her thumb. Mm-hmm. That that would be, I, I see, I, I'd be like, okay, no. Mm-hmm. I don't suck my thumb and neither do you. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Did she mention anything and he kept doing it? Or she just decided that at this point, at this age, he's got his things. I've got my things. What's the point? It, not really. I mean, oh, he also licked her eyelids. What the fuck? Um, and then um, I guess he also have. No, no, no. Oh, no. See, I I don't even wear cunt. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> I wear glasses because the idea of putting in contacts freaks me out. I don't, want, I don't want a tongue anywhere near my eyeballs. Thank you. And Sorry, she, I, oh God, and she just... didn't want his three inch penis in her belly button either. And he tried that too. Yeah, no, so. no, no, no. You got to stay away from the belly button. It's just, it's, too, it's actually, I don't know. I, some people have like, I have like a really sensitive belly button. Just too tech. No, no, don't get near the belly button. Just no, ah, no. Or my eyeballs. Or my eyeballs. No, nope. I licked. Uh, no. <laughs> I just, uh, you know, to each your own. Go get on Tinder and said, I want to lick your eyeballs. I'm sure someone to say yeah. Yes, somebody will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So <sighs> we couldn't let the season pass without this one. It had to happen. <sighs> okay. Do you know which one it is? No, no, no. Baby, it's cold outside. Oh, that one, oh yeah, it's you know, it, it, talking about the con. You know, some people are banning it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, the song creeps me out because it is almost you know 2019. You know, people can write essay after essay over the context of the time, but it's still creepy. It's someone saying, "I can't stay a thousand times without saying I can't stay," which is women have to do all the time so they don't get like killed. Mm-hmm. Be nice about saying no. I don't think it should be banned. But I'm not putting it on my playlist. Yeah. Although I have to admit, Seth MacFarlane a couple of years ago put out a Christmas album, and I don't know who he sang it with, but he has a really good voice, and they do a nice version of it. And I think the tone is a little more modern. Okay. Some of the older versions I still, I still think are creepy, and I think, but I think the newer versions, they 
they're trying to modernize it with it with the tone of it. Yeah. Yeah, there is some stuff that, like, you know, I mean, oh, another I, cigarette nobody smokes anymore, really. Yeah. I mean, and, and honestly, you know, shit changes. Not everything survives. I mean, nobody, I mean, I, you know, before the Nazis had the, um, the, the, the swastika, it was a nice, peaceful thing in another, in another, uh, um, it was Indian or I don't know something. It's another culture's lovely design that had been used for hundreds and hundreds of years. But I'm sorry, I, you're not putting it in the decor anymore. Saying that it belongs to this because it's too associated with that. Yep. I mean, <laughs> just yep. Is going through there. So, you know. You, no. You know. You, I mean, a lot of times they don't show smoking. You know, people. You know, people don't use uh, smoking ads. They don't do different things because it's no longer acceptable. Yeah, that's going through there. It is much lower level of it, but it is. It, it yeah. does. I remember the first time I heard the song because I, I, you don't hear it that often, really, until like serious radio. God, they have like twelve Christmas. I know. Songs, What's wrong with, uh, yeah, I just going through there. Um, but I, you know. Listen to it. Don't listen to it. I just, you know, you know, if like the Dean Martin version is a little creepy, yeah. you know, it's older. Seth's not so creepy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, and here's my take on this. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I, I basically agree with you. I think mm-hmm. this is interesting, though. Um, and this originated in, um, it started, I guess, a Cleveland radio station touched it off. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm, I'm, I can guarantee you, because I used to do this for a living, um, they put a poll up um, saying, you know, what do you think? Should it be polled or keep it? And they're always looking for fodder to talk about this. I would have oh, done yeah. something like this myself. Oh, yeah. I get it. And their listeners said, yeah, we think it's creepy. So they pulled it. That's fine. And I think any broadcast company or even I wish that hosts and DJs had more autonomy. They don't. No, no. You're completely dictated. But I think a broadcast company or a station manager or whatever should be able to say, yeah, you know, if we've gotten feedback in our market and we we would, you know, decide that we're going to mm-hmm. honor that. Fine. Yeah. You know, going through there. I mean, you know, yeah, it was a husband and wife team that did it. I mean, at one point in some of the notes on the stuff, they're talking about the guy being the wolf and the woman being the mouse. I mean, it's a predator prey sort of deal. Oh, yeah. You know, and the contest stuff like that. But like I said, it depends on the, I think the more modern versions of it. I think she and him even, no, 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 it's a different song. There's different takes on it. You know, yeah. who's going through there. Yeah. Maybe not. I mean, I don't turn it off when it comes on, and I've been listening to a whole bunch of different stuff since I've got that. There was even a Hanukkah channel. I should ch- I, I, I oh. checked that out a little bit, but I'm not familiar with it. So it was actually it was instead of being background music, I was like listening to it yeah. because I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, and I'm like this is not doing what I need background music to do right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> do, do, do you remember much? No, about- no. Okay. I was just going now through I there. I gotta find it. Okay. Yeah. I, gotta, I have I have um, XM two so Yeah. Well, yeah. It's not. On the, it's not, you can't get it in the car, but you got it. I have the um, I have the online. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm just going through there. I've got it in my car. Now you got me curious. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I accidentally blew by a story because we're getting. A, yeah, I did. Whoosh. I got to go back. I I forgot whoosh. one. Already um, planning for New Year's. Yeah. Wish wish. Got your brain in party mode. No, mm-hmm. I, 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 it's called long week. <laughs> it's called. <laughs> It's called a lot of stuff going on this week. Mm -hmm. Um, No, Mm -hmm. so sex robots. We have not had this week's, well, we've got two, actually. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what made me realize that Mm -hmm. I had um, glazed by one. Um, Okay, so sex robots uh, will soon feel love and suffer pain after being dumped, according to one expert, Professor Robin McKenzie, Director of Law and Medical Ethics at Kent Law School. Mm -hmm. Apparently, robotics will become so advanced they will become human-like and feel pain. Why create that? Why, why would be the why point of this? that? Because of what? It was a couple of weeks back that there was, a, in Montana, there was supposed to be uh, some sort of convention, some sort of meeting and stuff like that, and Bannon or whatever is supposed to be a keynote speaker and all that sort of stuff. Yep. And Yeah, and he got, you know, and it was canceled, but it, it, it didn't have anything really to do with the sex robot conference. No. But honestly, people sort of got to think you know, we we need to talk more about how you're using the sex robot. I mean, fine, have the robot, and we've talked about this. But is the robot an adult? Are you treat? How are you treating it? What's mm-hmm. going through there? Is the robot a kid? That's freaky. 
and should you know, be illegal, just like yeah, other the, representations. Just going through there, but you know, but this is a you know, this is, uh, conversations are going to have to be had about when you're talking about artificial intelligence and robots and stuff like that and you know cancel you know so the, I, i'm sure there'll be more conferences and i'm sure there's more ethics conversations talking about robotic sex there should be mm-hmm. because and and i do have the steve bannon story in here because mm-hmm. you you sent me a note about it and um I don't know. Yeah. Steve Bannon just seems like a creepy troll to me too. Mm-hmm. So, um, and it was a lot of the attendees were like, "Yeah, we're not going to do it." So, the yeah, but he wasn't even. It, it was a sub. The, the the sex doll and the artificial intelligence was was a sub conference. It wasn't even the one he was speaking at. Yeah. So the headlines keep conflating these two and it just and it and it, you know it, it was a little story and i'm noticing that it was that it seems to be picking up because different places and, and different places uh you know are picking yeah. it up and putting their take on it yeah and i'm just like oh but it really was sort of bizarre to see that guy's name and a sex robot in the same sentence well there's so many ways you could possibly explore that story like is mm-hmm. is it because nobody likes him and that's all he's got left yeah. or is it because you know i don't know but yeah, it was a fascinating juxtaposition. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe they can get a, a, a robot to be chief of staff if they haven't found one yet by the time that this actually airs. might be probably the best thing they could do. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm. Um, yeah, so that was kind of kind of weird. But I just on the robot note, I just want to mm-hmm. say one thing. And this, my husband brings this has brought this up, and I finally said stop talking about it. Um, the fact that Stephen Hawking came out and said, "Yeah, you know what." robots will animate and it will be the end of the human race. And, and my husband wants me to watch this documentary and I'm like, I want to be dead when that happens. Like, <laughs> we're de- I mean, honestly, that's only if we don't manage to uh, destroy the water and air on the planet first. So, you know, if, you know, if we solve that problem, maybe the uh, robots will take over, but we still got, and we still got an uh, issue think, on, uh, on that, um, the, 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 with the speed that technology proliferates, that that could really happen. I mean, think about how quickly and how it's you know it, it, it exponentially I, I, advances. I do laugh. I've uh, I have an employee who used to he's moved on doing other jobs, and he works with some folks that when they get handwritten stuff, they can't decipher, they can't read cursive writing. Because they're not they, they're not familiar with it. They don't see enough of it. Oh my god! And it was uh, so. Yeah, I mean and that's just in you know in, that's just in thirty years. I mean because I don't even t- I don't even teach really cursive I don't writing and do. stuff like that. My daughter had to learn it. She actually you know writes pretty good. And she can you know stuff like that. She was reading a, a Christmas card from one of her great aunts. And she could. I said you can read that. And she goes yeah. I said good. Okay, so you, you can read cursive. I, you know, here's my whole thing. Like. Mm-hmm. The way they taught cursive in school is so stupid, you know, I thought, because it, they wanted it, you to make it. And it's the ugliest. The the textbook cursive is so ugly, and nobody ever ends up writing that way. No, I still can't do, a, like, a cursive capital G. It just looks stupid. And then I get confused about the S. I mean, I just, I, there are certain letters. I have to admit, I'll do cursive, and, like, the letter I don't have is just regular printed. Then I keep going. It's it's, it's a weird combo thereof. Well, so, so do I. Mm-hmm. But my my point is, I think, you know, my, my question would have been, do we need cursive? And I think we do because, um, uh, what's not cursive called? Um, well, just block lettering or whatever is going through there. Yeah, I, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Um, it's not as fast. No. You no. know, I mean, and, and then just, I mean, who's going to read old documents? I mean, just think someone once will be able to get their PhD in uh, cursive writing in the future so, so they can like read like the constitution they and can all that read sort of shit. Stamps in caves. They'll probably be able to figure it out. <laughs> But it, I, point taken. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Oh, no, we, will, you know, we've gone back to hieroglyphics because it's all just emojis now. Well, <laughs> and they really can I just say the emoji thing really needs to step up its game. Like, there, there's so much shit that I need that I can't get. I need what I need is an I, I need a really good like I sympathize. But it, I'm also sad. But I mean, I, I like I like it, but I'm sad about it. But it's not just sad. By great, I don't. There's there's, there's there's a whole bunch of different ones, and you definitely need, and, and and the eye roll one is not eye rolly enough. No, there needs there needs to be some yeah. And I want one that's appalled. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. there's just is nothing good for being appalled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I, I suppose you could use two and put a plus sign in between, but mm-hmm. it doesn't work for appalled. No. no. Told ya. So, um, couple things left. Um, I'm going to do the Egyptian actress um, first because I'm annoyed by this story. <laughs> um, she's being hauled into court after a very, you know, beautiful, lacy, partly transparent outfit she wore on the red carpet in Cairo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that there? Like you're asking for it. Like I'm mad at her a little bit because you know where you live, you know what can happen to you there. Somebody else spent a year for just a, remember the banana in the video? The suggestive use of a banana in a music video. That was a Mm -hmm. year in jail. This is like possible two years right now. And she's like, well, I I didn't realize it would spark so much anger. I mean, the rules are changing pretty fast. I mean, a couple years, you know, depending on who's in power. And there's more than likely she said or done other things. And this is what they got her for. Because they never really get you on, on, you know. It's more of a, a thought police thing. It's a, you know, oh, here's something we can get her for. Well, here, here's you know, the quote. policing women's clothes again. The mm-hmm. outfit quote did not meet societal values, traditions, and morals, and undermined the reputation of Egyptian women. That's a load of shit. <laughs> That's how we all know that. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I mean, I, move here and wear mm-hmm. whatever you want, but. You know, but things you know change. I mean, I think I saw part of the dress, and I'm just like, you know, it. I think it was pushing it even by you know using that. They they, they wanted to go after her for something, and they chose that. I just you know, mm-hmm. I just I to to have to spend any to give up your freedom for any amount of time because of a clothing choice mm-hmm. is like really, you know, just yeah, upsetting. All right. Finally, a blind man is suing Playboy because he really wants to read the articles and he can't on their website. They don't have the software that, that, that reads it and stuff. Yep. Like. And, and he's going after him for a violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act. I, I, I mean, honestly, I don't think there's too, I mean, I suppose that, uh, I mean, like. I haven't thought about it because, well, I'm not blind, but I do know that, you know, some of, some of the technology for touch pads and iPads and all that isn't particularly, um, you know, blind friendly. You need to be able to speak to it and stuff like that. So they haven't, uh, so they haven't, you know, done the readable articles for that or I wonder, I don't even know how that's done. You know, yeah, it's, it's an but, interface, but Okay. If that's what he only thing that he wants, but I'm telling you when he crosses the line is he's like, well, you have to have something on there that describes the pictures. Now you can just shut up. Because <laughs> how the fuck are they supposed to figure that one out? Oh, they have descriptive audio for like movies and stuff like that. I suppose it could be the same thing. Naked woman size, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You would have to, of course, I mean, that would only work if you weren't blind from burst you'd have some sort of context i think what if you don't i don't know yeah i mean i've i've actually i've thought about how some of the technology with the touch screens and stuff like that i mean how how that's supposed to work at like mcdonald's and places where you have you know you know, you know they're putting them in there so they can figure out how to get rid of the human beings you know all together mm-hmm. um but even i there's no way, I mean, I, you know, or even the phone. I mean, my, I mean, it's tiny enough as it is. <laughs> I can barely see. I'm just saying, if he wants, if he wants oh. porn descriptives, I think that's pushing it. But reading the articles, absolutely. And can I just say, I was a longtime subscriber to Playboy, and they do have great freaking articles. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they really no, do. I, my dad, I, was it my, was it? I think he got Playboy and Penthouse. I mean, he kept it in his room. It was never like it was hidden and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine too many kids that didn't, you know, flip through male or female, you know, boys or girls that didn't flip through a Playboy and Penthouse when, you know, when they were kids. But uh, I never really, I mean, it was too little to look at the articles, but I thought the cartoons were hilarious. Oh, God. I know. I love the Playboy cartoons I when I was a kid. I mean, I got those. You know, that was easy enough. Is Hugh Hefner still alive? Uh, I believe so. 
Still kicking. I, no, no. Did no? Did he recently pass? No. We'll have to look. Did he? Did, oh, he? did he just go? Okay, I got to look that up. All right. Well, I, mean, I don't have my phone anywhere near me. Normally, I'm googling like crazy, but I was going through there. Yeah. Did he, oh, maybe he did. Which is, but it was like in the past six months or something like that. I, you know, I don't remember. I just feel like it would stick in my mind more if he did. Well, mm-hmm. while we're while we're checking that, let mm-hmm. me just ask you, um, Merry Post Christmas. Mm-hmm. How how's everything looking for the t- flipping of the calendar at Fantasy Gift? Uh, you know, we're just the stuff still. You know, we don't. Uh, you know, 2019, we don't really have any large projects going on, which is just handy, you know, which is nice because I'm tired. Yeah. I'm old and tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get through there. But it just, you know, we're just going to be plugging along and figuring out what's, you know, what's going on with, you know, new stuff. Uh, January is usually when we take a really good inventory. <laughs> Take okay. a look and see what's going on. We immediately get ready for uh, for Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's, I'm that's trying. Quick, I'm I trying. Bet. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. You know what? What new colors of rope to br- you know be brought in? Is that mm-hmm. the, what I saw out there when we came into the studio? We have it. Yeah, uh, the rope, rope coming. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's actually very lush looking. Mm-hmm. I love. Yes, yeah, company that we get in. So we we get big spools of bent and we cut it into uh, thirty foot lengths, which we have found. And then you braid them all the, nice. They look yeah, great. Yes, this little twist thing they were doing, and uh, uh, so that's going. Out. I brought in this really sort of fun champagne color for um for uh for the around the Christmas colors. It's really nice. And then I'm thinking about lavender. Uh but they don't have coral. Okay, so the Pantheon color, or I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, for twenty nineteen is like this damned ugly, ugly, ugly coral. Now I don't like it, but lots of people do. So I was trying to see if there's coral rope, but there is no coral rope, but there is lavender. So I might be bringing, I don't know, okay. just going through there. Because we sell we sell a lot of coral uh, colored la- la- you know, lingerie. Really? Which is not, but it's not, it's not my thing. Yeah. It's not, and I'm like, okay. The same thing, we sell a lot of mint colored and teal colored toys, which is not my colors, but I'm like, hey, doesn't mean I'm not, you know. I would buy mint. I'm mm-hmm. a, I like green. Oh, well, we got this line in from Jopin that the, and it, it, they're all mint colored and they've got uh, little uh, little crystals on the end and they're really? all rechargeable. There's like five styles. They're so pretty. Oh, I want to see. I like the I like the sparkly bits. I do too. By the way, Hugh Hefner did die September okay. 2017. So, so. I'm getting it. Yeah. You know what? It, it just things happen so fast now in the in the media. It's like you, you have attention spans like like a gnat. But was he buried in a bathrobe? <laughs> Probably. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. He was mar- um, he was buried near Marilyn Monroe so we could bug her ass even in the afterlife, for God's sakes. The woman can't even rest in peace now that she's dead. That's right. I remember. Now, that's the part I'm remembering. Yeah. Married next to Marilyn. Oh, sure. Poor Marilyn. Uh, well, see you next year. <laughs>